The vast majority of big line moves in bowl games are when players are opting out and transferring. Those will dramatically affect a team's power rating number when their best players are all leaving. The Liberty Bowl, we've seen a huge line move in this game, and it's not based on the transfer portal or the opt-out portal, which is something that's relatively rare this bowl season. In fact, it's the only game that I've seen so far where the line has moved more than a field goal, not from the opener, not based on opt-outs and transfers. Basically, the wise guys really like Iowa State in this ball game. Iowa State opened minus five and a half, minus six. I was bet up to minus seven almost immediately. The sevens got bought out the next morning, was sitting at eight or eight and a half, nine in that range for a couple of weeks, then up to 10 before Christmas. And now we're looking at 10 and a half, even some 11s out there for Iowa State. So it's been one way action and it's nothing to do with opt-outs. I mean, Memphis has a couple of opt-outs. They're missing a couple of offensive linemen, uh, which is a problem. Their backup quarterback is gone. Um, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal for Memphis when it comes to opt-outs. Certainly on the offensive line, you're concerned about that. But they were very confident in what the backups were capable of doing. And the one backups already started a handful of games this year. So it's not about opt-outs. It's about what Iowa State did over the back half of the campaign. All right. And it's about strength of schedule. Memphis, they have the better record. But, I mean, what's their best win of the season? South Florida? You know, <laughs> went 4-4 four and four in conference play. It's not like this team faced a whole lot of good foes. And when they were an underdog this year, they didn't win any games. <laughs> so, uh, that's a something of a concern. And, of course, they were never a bigger underdog in any game all year than they are in this game. That's even... Uh, when they played at the uh, neutral site, St. Louis, uh, against Missouri back in September. So it's not like Memphis has shown the ability to step up in class all that much. But the key for Iowa State, it's such a young team, you know, freshman quarterback, freshman running back, the kid Abu Sama the third, 276 yards and three touchdowns to a 40 in their season finale, 42-35 in the snow against Kansas State in the weather against Kansas State. This is an offense whose full season stats are going to lie because Iowa State was inept offensively early in the season. All right, they really were. And we saw a dramatic, a fairly dramatic midseason turnaround uh, for this squad. Memphis's defense is no good. <laughs> All right, they rank 90th in the nation in points allowed, 125th in the country against the pass. I expect Iowa's going to be able to move the football fairly easily in this ball game. That being said, it's not like the Tigers can't move the football. Seth Hennigan's a good QB, and he's got a big arm, and they certainly have plenty of skill position talent. When we put it all together, Iowa, Memphis, total sitting at 57, 57 and a half. Put me down for the over in this one. I see points in bunches. These two teams met in this same bowl Back in 2017, it was, what, 21-20 to 20 final. This time around, I think we see touchdowns in bunches. Take the over Iowa State and Memphis. I think this game gets into the 60s, maybe even higher. I want to give you guys a special promotion offer. This week only. Expires on Sunday. Get a seven-day all-access pass. Just $69 at wagertalk.com. Use promo code Holiday 7 at checkout to take advantage of that special offer and get on board every play, every day, and every sport. Nothing more to buy. Seven-day all-access, less than $10 a day. Again, use promo code HOLIDAY7 at checkout. Thank you so much for watching Wager Talk TV. If you haven't done so already, become one of the 140,000 subscribers to this channel, which blows me away. And of course, if you have an opinion... A question, a comment, please leave them below in YouTube. And I'll be back before kickoff to reply to those comments and answer any questions. Best of luck. Enjoy the games. And thanks for watching Wager Talk TV.